Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.12 Those who desire the fruits of their activities in this world worship the demigods because the results of their fruitive work are quickly achieved. Tsar Ardavashini Among those with whom I reciprocate, those desiring material enjoyment give up the path of direct devotion to me and follow the path of karma, which quickly bears fruit. To explain this point, Sri Bhagavan speaks this verse beginning with the word Kangshantaha. The word Karmaja means born of karma and refers to perfections such as the attainment of the heavenly planets. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashi Kariti Karma is of three types. First, Nitya, daily or prescribed. Second, Naimitika, occasional. And third, Kamya, with fruitive desire. Actions prescribed in the Vedas such as Sandhya or reciting prayers at the three junctions of the day are obligatory daily religious duties or Nitya Karma. Activities such as offering oblations to the forefathers are known as occasional duties or Naimitika Karma. And those actions performed with a desire for the fruits are called Kamya Karma or Sakama. Kamya Karma is superior to both abstaining from prescribed duties, a karma, and performing prohibited sinful action, vi karma. Kamais tais ter rita jnanaha prapatyanti nya. Devataha, Bhagavad Gita 7.20 People who desire the fruits of their actions give up the worship of Bhagavan Sri Vasudeva and worship the different demigods. Labhati ca tattaha kaman mayava vihitan hitan Bhagavad Gita 7.22 By the arrangements of Bhagavan they receive their desired results from those demigods. Those who by the association of pure devotees realize the insignificance of karma and its fruits adopt the path of Nirguna Bhakti. They quickly become successful and attain service to the Lord. According to the Srimad Bhagavatam, 11.14.21 11.14.21 This is because Sri Bhagavan is achieved only by Bhakti. Bhaktiaham ekaya grahayaha. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.14.20 also says Na sadayati mam yogaha. Bhagavan is not achieved by such processes as yoga or the performance of austerities.